diameter is 0 0.357. If you do the math, the cross-sectional area is exactly a tenth of an inch. So whatever number you see here, multiply times 10, and that's your pounds per square inch. So we've got 48,000 PSI. Remember, that's two small cars hanging on that piece of steel right now. Okay, this first sample I put in here is hot rolled steel. Soon, the numbers will reach a peak and the notches are going backwards. And the reason they're going to go backwards is when we're still pulling it and the area is getting smaller somewhere. See? So, so this is what my mouth's right now. Yep, that was our peak. So you're going to see some necking shortly. It will break. When it breaks, there's a little bit of a bang. So it might jump. I take the part out where it acts, it's usually warm. And it's right here is where it's in the brain. how high it goes. If it's a real strong sample and absorbs a lot of energy, it won't come real high. But if it's a wimpy one, it'll just continue to go higher. Eventually it's up to zero. So that's why zero is over here. We can do a lot of different um, ranges. Actually, for this sample, that head is a little big. And then there's two heights we can do. Yeah. 
Well, that's great. So, what's the value? Well, they found it was the steel was really uh, brittle because it had high sulfur in it. And, um, because of the sulfur being brittle, they hardened well, it was riveted, so you got a variety of errors. And so, today we know how to get the sulfur out and how to weld it. So, we have ships that can go through icebergs, ice flows and such. What happens is there's a pendulum comes by, hits the sample. If it's a real weak sample, the pendulum will continue to rise, which is why the zero is over here, the highest number. If it's a very strong sample, it won't come up very high. We can do different heights and different weights. 